earlier this year, I made you guys a promise that we'd nab Mars in incredible detail. And the time has come to deliver. So here we are in Evergreen, Colorado, 7,000 feet up with my dad's nine and a quarter inch scope. And we're gonna map the surface. So let's do it. But traumatic intros aside, we have been building towards this for quite a while. Practicing with my 6SE and CWO ASI 120MC, which is kind of a mouthful, but fortunately we have been able to get some pretty good shots, especially on Jupiter. And awesomely, everything we've done on my 6SE should carry over beautifully to my dad's CPC, which has 2.5 times the light gathering ability of my SE, which should really help us boost frame rates and resolution, which is just going to be a killer from planetary. Nature, on the other hand, though, isn't going to make this so easy. I've been tracking the forecasts, and it looks like the clouds and the jet stream have decided to tag team the U.S. during the weeks that I'm actually going to be in Colorado. And as always, environmental conditions, especially seeing, is so incredibly important and can really make or break a, a planetary session. But there is a chance, a tiny one or two night window, with good conditions where the jet stream looks like it's gonna split and hopefully the sky open up. So we're gonna bet it all on this one shot. This one forecasted to be really, really cold shot because it's gonna be below freezing again. It's gonna snow and everything, so. And also, I never got auto-guiding working either, so I'm actually gonna be staying out with the scope over the night doing these periodic corrections myself. So it's gonna be super, super cold. Probably gonna have to get some hand warmers, but we'll see how that goes. So after some brief test runs, it was time to wait for the snow to clear and for the sky to open up. So I ended up lasting about four hours, which is over 180 gigs of data, and should cover a little under half of the Martian surface. Which I had to stop because the cold spread from my feet to my knees at the end of that, and that was a good sign to call it quits. So let's get to the data. So I think that went pretty well. We had some varied seeing conditions across the night, but had some solid pockets in there as well of what I would estimate to be about four out of five seeing. And apologies for the little wobble on the right. Since it is an alt azimuth mount, it's actually captured the Earth's rotation, so I've gone back and manually rotated all of these to try and compensate for that, but obviously didn't do a perfect job. If anyone knows how to automate that, please mention it in the comments down below. But with that said, let's hop into some of the identifiable surface features. We've got the super recognizable Valles Marinares, Mars's Grand Canyon, and everyone's favorite volcano, Olympus Mons. But what I actually think is more interesting than that is the level of detail we get in the surface shading in the Tharsis region, which has a bunch of the other volcanoes, though admittedly they're pretty hard to see here. 
And you can't forget the clouds, the clouds around that North Polar Cap. That was actually quite a surprise, and it's kind of neat to see that they're actually not symmetrical around the radius too. There's a ton of little other features to list, but it's kind of hard to get a scale for some of these things, so I've overlaid the US on here. And speaking of the US, unfortunately there's not a whole lot of landers or rovers on this side of Mars, but zooming out you can see where a ton of the other guys are, including Perseverance. And with that, I think we're putting a bow on Mars. It's still gonna be super good though for the next month or so, so if any of you haven't gotten a chance yet to go out and look at it, I would highly encourage you to do so. Up next on my menu though, is probably gonna be uh, what is statistically the closest planet to Earth on average. I'll let y'all figure out what exactly that is. But hey, until next time, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and. Thanks for watching.